Hey, thanks for joining my channel again. This is just a really quick video on another mod I did. Mod, I say mod. Another thing I did on my Jeep uh, Gladiator, my 2021 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon, um, I basically just went and got it Linuxed. Uh, you can get it done at factory level, right? It's an option. It's about 600, 700 dollars, depending on where you get your, your, your Jeep from. Uh, I just, you know, I can always get deals outside of the, uh, the dealership, as it were, or stealership. So what I did here is uh, same thing. Found a great place uh, locally, locally to me, about an hour away. Um, I'll leave a link in the description if you're if you're from Southern Ontario like I am. These guys were great. Uh, they took care of me. Uh, the price was the best around, and I called like five or six different Linux places around. And these guys were cheaper, and they were pretty quick. And they let me just sort of hang out in their in their lounge area and watch Spotify. So I caught up with my Joe Rogan podcast. But uh, I watched that and I waited for my truck to get done. And when it was done, it turned out pretty awesome. So I'll link some videos and pictures uh, to this video so you guys can check it out. So if you're thinking about doing Linux, um, just do it. I think it's great. Not only is it like a like rust proofing the vehicle a bit because nothing gets through that bonded uh, surface anymore, that, 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 that material that's sprayed on, that bed liner. And then also, too, what I like is you can throw tons of crap in there. You're not going to damage it. You're not going to... actually makes it about 20% stronger from what I've read, too, like the actual bonding of that material. And, um, you know, I didn't want to scratch it up and then have rust and look like crap. This way it just looks black all the time. And you can throw in, like, wood. You can throw in, like, cinder blocks, all that kind of stuff. And uh, it'll look great. And also, too, if I ever do more stuff and whatever, overlanding, who knows? I thought it was a good, a good option. It was cheap. And uh, please enjoy the video that's following. Also, if you can see behind me here, look at this. The Amazon gods were very kind to me. So these are going to be some upcoming video. And these are real mods. These are real mods. These guys, awesome. I love their product. These guys are awesome. Uh, this right here, oh, that's going to be a cool one. I like that. This is, uh, I've done a lot of research. So this, this Gladiator build is different than my other Jeeps. Because what I've done is... I thought, you know what, how can I just do these mods? Start them up from like the beginning, how I want them to, to progress, right? If you just buy a Jeep and like I said, throw Dana 60s on it or whatever, it's not quite as fun as just like building it up slowly, you know, getting to that peak of what you want that Jeep to look like. So what I'm doing first is all easy mods and they're getting slightly harder as the progression continues. So these guys here are awesome. This here is freaking awesome. I can't wait to put that in. This is also a little, little something as well. The one hint I'll give you on that is it's uh, for communication, communication purposes. And then, I don't know if you guys can see this in the camera, but they say a picture tells a thousand words. So if my viewers can see that, <laughs> then you're gonna know what that is as well. Oh, it's not as light as I thought it was. And this is kind of out of frame. But this is something as well. I guess the hint on that was it'll keep things dry in the bed. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much for, uh, for tuning back into my channel. And uh, please uh, watch this Linux video and uh, tell me what you think in the comments section. Uh, yeah, where, where do I put that? Comment section. Please subscribe. Hit the little bell for notifications. And again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, so this is what the uh, the truck looked like before I took it in to get Linexed. I had a little bit of snow and ice still in there, so hopefully they can they can thaw that or melt it and clean it off before they spray it in. But just want to give you a shot in my driveway of what it looks like. I love the sting gray though. You know, it's a shame that I live in Canada and I have to spray it. But if you didn't spray it, you could scratch it and that would rust anyway. So there we go. All right, so here we are. We're at Linux. We're gonna get this thing sprayed today. Okay. Let's see what happens after the math here. All right, so the prepping is done. They are getting ready to shoot it, and these guys have done a great job in wrapping it. It's not just something thrown over like a tarp. It is completely taped off, which I really like to see. That's good workmanship. It has also been sanded and bonding agent applied, tilgate staying on, and they're going to spray it in a matter of minutes.
There we go, she's all done up. Looking good. Here's the truck outside, just not like in a booth and stuff. You can actually see it outside. It looks really nice. The Linex, of course, is, uh, is bonded to the metal now. It's all dry. It looks great. It's all cured. It takes like 30 seconds to cure. Um, but it looks great. I'm really glad I did it. This should make it uh, stronger, last longer, not rust. That looks good. Thanks very much for watching and uh, take care.